Hi there, Aaron Dunn here from the SMSF Academy. In this video, we're going to look at the updated change of trustee form and just how easy it is to work through and complete a change of trustee whereby we may be removing individual trustees and then maybe appointing a corporate trustee or vice versa. So what we're going to do is go through the form and just show you how much more detail there is in there because of the different variations that may come about in this change of trustee process. So we have our ABC SMSF, we include all the details of the ABN, we have our initial fund establishment date here, so it's 2010, we have the specific date, uh, the, the state governing there, what type of change are we making? So you can see here we have a choice around some decisions, so we may be going from individual to corporate, um, companies back to individuals, we may be at or removing individuals, or a company to company change. So let's say in this instance, we're going individuals to corporate here. Um, who holds the power to appoint or remove the specific trustee here? We're saying, is it the trustees? Is it the members? Is it the founder or is it something else? Uh, here we'll say it's the trustee has the power to do that. We'll put in the specific uh, address information, pick up the address, um, validates the address there. Has the deed uh, funds deed been varied since its establishment? If yes, how many times? And then we can see there the information around that. So I'll say no there just to go through this quicker. What type of change is occurring? So here we need to refer to the original deed of this fund and looking at the fact that is this person being removed? Are they retiring? Are they resigning? Or have they actually been dismissed from the role? So typically you'll see a retirement but there may be other circumstances. And again, you need to look at the specifics here. So I'll say we have a rule, and it may be rule 10 in this instance. Let's say we have our address, how many trustees the fund has here, because we have individuals at the moment. So we'll say there's two. We have um, uh, Mr. John Smith. We have his address. Is he a member of the fund? Yes, he is. And then we have Jane Smith. Her address, and she is also a member. Now we're appointing the company as trustee. We'll put in the ACN that we'd have. And then what we're doing is adding any specific address here. So we'll say it's the same address, meeting at the same address. We'll have two directors here, which will be uh, John and Jane again. So where we have the integration with either Class Super or BGL Simple Fund 360, you can actually populate this information automatically um, and basically pull all of the information from the software to populate uh, a large majority of this information because we already know who those members are, who the trustee is, and if we're making that change again, it can push the data through to prepare the specific documents. Is there an additional party here in respect to the deed and what needs to happen around this change? Um, no, in this instance, if it's yes, then we're adding who the additional party is that needs to sign off on that. So it may be an employer sponsor, um, for example. So we've now input all the information around the fund. And now what we're needing to do is to um, basically take us through to this next step where you will now see that we can review that information around the specific um, removal of the individual trustees and then appointment um, as part of the membership, of course. Uh, this is included for our gold members. It's why it has a bypass there. If you're a silver, bronze or free member, you can simply make your payment there by credit card. So I'll hit submit. Um, around that specific order and then what will happen is that the order will take just a little bit of time to process and then it will go into the completed area and also send me an email with all the relevant information. So I'll just hit pause here until we actually have the document delivered and I'll show you um, what stage is next. Okay, so we now have our document ready. That's just taken a couple of minutes to populate there. And you can see we have our email to advise that the document is ready and we so we simply will click um, into the uh, document and it now provides us with our change of trustee document. So we have there John and Jane Smith um, and we have NUCO there and then we have all the relevant documentation around the change of trustee. So 
There is the um, documentation in respect to that. We can also go to our completed orders area and that information will also be available um, within the site as well. So you have the ability then to um, access it through the um, area here and then you also have access by email um, in respect to not only the delivery um, of that message but also uh, it will send to you some other information around the specific document that you order to ensure that if there, if there are next steps that need to occur, that you go through and complete those next, step, next steps as well. So if you do have any other questions in respect to the um, documents, in particular with this one around the change of trustee, please feel free to reach out to us at info at the smsfacademy.com.au or you can give us a call at 1300 95 Thank you.